Hi everyone! Before I get into today's mukbang, I really want to say thank you to Functional Beauty for sponsoring this video. A lot of you guys always ask for my hair care routine. I have spoken about Functional Beauty in my videos before and I'm literally obsessed. These are actually the bottles I got last time. I have used them all up and I just want to say I actually genuinely love and use these products and I really recommend so let's get into what they sent me. So what I love about Functional Beauty is that it is tailored to you. So I actually got to pick what goals I have for my hair and they also came out with a body line I guess so I also got to pick for that and for my hair goals I chose anti-frizz, nourish roots, fix split ends. I get split ends really easily and I haven't had my hair cut in ages due to quarantine so I needed that. Volumize and lengthen and yeah lengthening has worked so much. My hair has grown so long it's not even funny and I also love that Functional Beauty is 100% vegan and cruelty free it has no parabens, sulfates, toxins, or GMOs. I washed my hair before filming this and I put in the serum as well that they sent me last time. I still love that. And yeah, I can just say that my hair is just so nice. Like it's improved so much. It's really healthy. But yeah, this is my new shampoo and conditioner and I love the colors. They're so freaking cute. I also got this leave-in conditioner that I have been loving. I just love like softening products, I guess, but this is amazing. And again, says my name. And yes, they also sent me some body products. So more, I know, amazing. So Functional Beauty just released the world's first customizable body care. And yeah, it was only a one minute quiz. And this is the body wash and the body lotion. And oh my God, these smell insanely amazing. And yeah, both the body lotion and the body wash are formulized to make your skin super hydrated. And all of the boxes that Function of Beauty is sent in is 100% recyclable. And all of the plastic bottles have been transferred to PCR bottles instead of new plastic that comes from fossil fuels. And by the way, PCR is any material that has been used or recycled and it is far less wasteful because because it requires no virgin materials to be sourced and using it results in fewer recycled materials ending up in landfills. I just love everything that Functional Beauty stands for and I love that it's customizable to you. So yeah, thank you so much Functional Beauty for sponsoring this video. My hair has never been so healthy and long and beautiful. I remember when I first started using it, my mom was like amazed at how like shiny and how much my hair had transformed and I recommend it for everyone. Like I genuinely love Functional Beauty so much. This is Leah from the future after eating, but don't forget to click my link in the description to get 20% off your first order. So yeah, thank you so much. Let's get into the video. Oh my God, guys, I'm so excited. I don't think I've done like a proper, proper, proper mukbang, but like, okay, I really want to get into what food I have. So I went to a little Asian grocery. All right, let's just go around and see what I got. So first I got at home boba milk tea. So I don't even have to go get it anymore. I can make it at home. I got these. I don't don't know what they are. I got this. They're like rice balls and they're pink. You're probably supposed to season them because I think they're just plain. I got these which give me such nostalgia from like primary school. I remember my mum used to give me these in primary school and I love them. I got these chili chips. Of course I had to get the chili noodles. Lots of mochi, custard flavor, mango flavor and strawberry flavor. These pink chips. I don't know. I just got them because they're pink. I don't know. And then this custard mochi. Okay let's Let's dig in. I'm so excited to eat and I'm gonna eat this first because it's hot. So this is what it looks like. Whoa! Oh my god, that is actually pretty spicy. Oh, I don't know. Like, oh. so hot. All right, I want to try some of this bubble tea. Oh my god, I'm like sweating already. I'm so weak. I can't even enjoy this because my mouth is like watering. I want to get that over and done with because I want to eat all of this. I want to try and like get it all down. Oh my god, my mouth is my mouth is burning. And now I need to sneeze. All right, this, this is not off to a good start. My mouth is still freaking burning. I'm worried that this was dumb to eat this first. Mm. I love food. 
done. Look at my lips, they're like orange now. Oh my god. What do I do? That got really hot really fast. It was fine when I was eating, but now it's like, oh, fuck. Oh. I don't want to do that because I want to, like, keep my stomach not full. Oh, my God. That is really king spicy. I'm going to have some of this. Oh my god, I have goosebumps. I don't know if you can see. My body's like shivering cold, but my head like boiling. I'm just gonna try and keep on eating these. Okay, I have to keep eating these because every time I stop eating them, the spiciness comes back. I'm trying to eat like a mukbanger. Banger. Every time I. Every time I talk, the spiciness comes back. It's been like five minutes. I'm gonna try these. They smell kind of gross. They're little balls. You cook them until they boil. These are definitely meant to have sauce, like soy sauce. Mmm. I love the consistency of sticky rice. There has been so many planes and like helicopters going over my house ever since quarantine, ever since like lockdown. Really weird. Let me know if you have the same if you're in Melbourne. I can't get over how good this is. And yet my mouth is definitely less spicy now. So that's really good. Mmm. I feel like Asian food is just so creative and cute. Like I just love it so much. What should I try next? Some mochi? I know you guys have probably been staring at these waiting for me to put them in my mouth. All right, I'm going to have a mango one. I have had frozen ice cream mochi before and I love it. This is not frozen. This is the normal one. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Oh. You guys, this is amazing. That is really good. Let's try a white one. Okay, these are filling. I don't want to get too full. Maybe I'll just like take a bite. That is so nice. Let's try a pink one. Mmm. Mmm. Let's try both together. That is really, really good. Let's try some of this mochi. So it comes in little packages. These look like little nappy wipe packages. Oh, they're like little fingers. All right, ready? Uh, I definitely prefer this one. This one leaves a strong aftertaste in your mouth. I don't really like that one. Why are tapioca pearls so good? I feel like this sounds really wrong, but I like slimy ball things. Like mochi is slimy ball. That is slimy balls. This is slimy balls. Strawberry flavored cream. So strawberry and chocolate. Oh, I thought that was just strawberry. There is strawberry and chocolate. It's just so cute. It's such a cute concept. I'm going to give my kids this. All right, let's try the strawberry. Mm. It's really good. All right, let's try the chocolate. Strawberry's better.
kind of sickening. Let's try these. I'm leaving the spicy ones to last because I don't want to get a spicy shock again. Oh, these cannot be good for you. Oh my God. Not that anything else is, but Jesus. So they're like little pink shrimps and they smell like strawberry. Like they smell sweet, but they're like little Cheetos. All right. Is the weirdest that is so weird okay i'm trying to figure out what these taste like because they have a familiar taste mm. what oh my god it's at the top of my head i can't figure it out i don't know i feel like i wouldn't choose to eat these Finish my bubble tea. I should make a bubble tea company. I love it so much. You know, after you eat and you're like tired, I could go for a nap after this. I was up till 5 a.m. last night. Don't ask why. I can't stop myself from doing it. It's just a thing that happens every single day. And then I sleep until like 12. So I should probably start trying to wake up earlier, but it's just not in my mental capacity to be able to do that. Also, I feel like I want to start taking Instagram less seriously. Like I want to post like funny pictures on there. I used to be like a really scared that people judge me, but now that I'm on YouTube, like I actually freaking don't care about what anyone thinks of me because I'm a bad bitch. Also, Instagram has changed their algorithm. So if you don't like interact with a post, that person is going to stop coming onto your feed. Like why can't Instagram just be the way it used to be? Like it would show an order of when people posted. Like that was the best. I think Instagram is just becoming really advertisement focused because the actual Instagram app wants people to use their promotion tool. And I'm worried because I love Instagram. So yeah, please make sure to interact with my Instagram posts. If you want to follow me, my Instagram is at Holton underscore. Like and comment on my post. I get like so many likes, like you guys are amazing, but like you guys need to comment more. Come on, seriously. And I'll definitely try to respond to you more, but yeah, I really want you guys to like see my post. So make sure to interact, bitches. Oh, okay, bubble tea done. Right, I just got some soy sauce because I'm gonna put it in my little rice balls. I know what's wrong with me, but do you ever think to yourself like, we're not real? Like you just can't imagine that you yourself or other people around you would have organs. Like whenever I like sleep in a bed with someone or like hug someone, like I just hate hearing someone's heart. Like it freaks me out. I don't know why, but anyway, I saw this TikTok and this girl put her phone up to her chest and you could hear her heartbeat. So I'm like, Pfft. That's not real. I did it on Instagram camera. It's real. You can hear your heart if you put your phone up to your chest and your stomach, like you can hear your stomach activity, but it doesn't work if you use like normal camera, which is really weird, but it works if you use TikTok camera and Instagram camera. Well, it at least worked that way for me, but like it freaks me out. I'm like, oh my God, I have a heartbeat. No, I don't. All right, let's see if this is better. Mm -hmm. That is really good soy sauce. I actually like these a lot. Hey, that looks like a, um, a nucleon. What am I f***ing saying? I'm supposed to do it. I've been eating too much. Um, it's like getting unenjoyable for me. But I want to finish it all. How do these mukbang people finish? Oh my god, talking about mukbang. What is chamoy? I have been on through TikTok and I have been seeing this thing. I think it's called chamoy. Maybe that's something else. There's two different things that I'm like so curious about. Okay, the first one is like sour straps and like Jolly Ranchers. I don't know what they're called. Like dipped in this like Mexican, like, I don't know, this sauce. I'm like, is it sweet? Is it salty? Is it sour? Is it hot? Like I love sour straps. Like I love sour anything. Like imagine dipping a sour something in sauce so let me know if you know what that is because i want it and also this other thing that you dip your like tacos in it looks so good like i love mexican food so much so maybe i'll do a mexican mukbang if you like this mukbang if you like this mukbang leave a like subscribe and comment down below but anyway i've had a lot of these but i'm gonna put on like 20 kilos i actually think i'm about to explode i've been so much it like hurts to breathe I'm gonna try these. Okay, so these are pea crackers. Spicy. They don't smell spicy, but look at them. They're like little twist things. You know what they smell like? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. They smell like these. They sell them at like Woolworths and I used to always have them at school. This is literally them. Why is everything that I've eaten today like taste exactly like something else? I feel like I've already experienced all of these tastes somewhere. So weird.
Yeah, it tastes exactly like that. It's like little soy things. But these are pea crackers. this the other day how much water can you have before it like fills up to your esophagus and i asked my mom and she's like that doesn't happen but i'm like surely if you drank enough water your body would like fill up like you know what i mean like you pour water into a glass and it gets to the top you pour water in your body and it gets to the top but apparently not like it just dissolves inside of you or whatever so maybe with food if you eat enough it'll get to the top but don't drink too much water because you can actually get water poisoning so it's a bad idea to see how much water it would take to fill you up i honestly feel like i'm filled to the top of food like i feel like my food's like up to here and i just like if i eat anymore you'll see it in the back of my throat because i'm like so filled with food anyway i really enjoyed this I really want to keep on doing mukbangs because it's like fun just eating in front of the camera, you know. Hopefully you guys got some ASMR pleasure. I know I'm pretty bad at it, but um, let's just quickly go through and rate the food. The noodles, they were actually really good, but I need to build up my spicy tolerance, but they were maybe like a, a seven, maybe a six. I don't know. It was kind of hard to enjoy them because they were so spicy. I didn't expect them to be that spicy. 6.5. This, like a 8.5 out of 10, like not as good as an actual bubble tea, but it's pretty much the same thing. So I love this and I I recommend you guys get some to make some of your own because it tastes like actual bubble tea these i probably wouldn't buy them again i rate these like a seven the mochi this mochi like a three i don't know i don't like it i don't like how it's not a circle the white mochi like a seven an eight a nine the mango one's really good these i still feel like i prefer normal rice more but i love the stickiness it's just kind of weird maybe an eight these nostalgic but again i wouldn't really choose to buy them i feel like they're not something i would crave like a seven these are four they're just weird i wouldn't buy them again and these are four as well probably they're just not the best chips and i'm not really a chip person anyway yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you liked this it's a bit different let me know if you want me to keep doing mukbangs but yeah make sure to like subscribe follow me on instagram at leah holton underscore love you guys bye <laughs>